you know, the linebackers tend to be have like a lot of the leaders on the team. Yeah. You talk about Ray Lewis. You talk about London Fletchers. Now, especially if you're that middle linebacker, well, look, you're in the middle of the field. You're you're reading the defense. You're giving the signals back. You're you're the vocal person. But is that typically the? Do you typically find, I guess, that the linebacking core has the natural leaders? Is it because of position, or is it really just kind of personality and really whoever kind of steps up? It varies. I think some of some guys that play the position are forced into just being leaders because. I'm a linebacker, or I'm a middle linebacker, I have to be that leader. But then some guys are just born with it. You know, one of the great uh, things about having a guy like Ray Lewis and the London Fletcher, you know, both of those guys are great communicators. You know, they're not just going to lead you to the lake. They're going to lead you there and show you how to fish. You know what I mean? And that's some of the things that I saw week in and week out with London. He was a guy that he's directing everything. He's telling the guys, I got A gap, I got you got B, get up there. And b before you know it, blink of an eye, he's in the backfield showing you what he was just, you know, uh, orchestrating and letting you know how to get there. So time and time again, when you sit back and watch those guys, those are the guys are that you, you're eager to follow. You're eager to go out there and say, I want to be on the same level as him because he's showing me how to make things happen. And that's why those guys are awarded what they are awarded. Well, you got you have Ray Lewis thus far. He's in, he's in the Hall of Fame, and I'm pretty sure it's knocking some wood. You know, they should be called a London name pretty soon. Uh, yeah, London, by the way, is going to be joining us throughout the season, so we'll try and get him on a couple of shows maybe this week. We'll get to have a nice chat with him as he comes back as well. Um, you do talk about some of the qualities of the great leaders. You know, you talk about the, L, the linebacker position as well, but what are the qualities you really want? Well, you want a guy, first, like I just said before, who's a great communicator. And then you want a guy that's going to be tough. You know, he's a, he's a guy that at all times, regardless of what situation that he's, he's thrust in, he's going to show you that toughness and, and be able to overcome some of the things that's put upon you. You know, every night or every day is not going to be a great day. So you have to have that amnesia at times. You have to put that behind you and say, let's, let's move forward. Let's not dwell on the past. And with all that being said and done, you have to have a guy that knows everything. That linebacker position, it's the quarterback on the defensive side. You have to know the guys in the back end. You have to know the guys up front. And then when things are not going right, you have to bring them in and say, let's reset. <laughs> let's push this button. Let's get over this thing and let's reset. And I found that every guy who I had who I played with that had that kind of potential and had those qualities had great years and had great careers.